Okay, now the engine we're going to start now is a triple expansion, 600 horsepower Worthington Simpson engine that used to pump all the water for Dover. So here we go. Okay, Tony. So this engine is called a triple expansion because it actually has three separate cylinders through which the steam is passed in turn to give it more efficiency and more power. You can't see the individual cylinders now because they're all enclosed in the metal cladding at the top, but inside there are the three things that look like pots. Each one driving an individual piston rod, crosshead, and down to the crankshaft. So you've got three cranks on the same engine. This engine was built in 1937 and was the last big waterworks engine to be built for the water industry in this country. But Dover Waterworks, when it was driven by steam, had a staff of 15, three Lancashire boilers, two big steam engines. So they decided the coal bill was far too high. They sacked all the staff, installed six electric pumps, and now the station is unmanned, it's all automatic and um, somebody just goes up once a week to pick up the uh, chart recorders from the wall. The round clock in the middle, the rev counter, the valves you can see which let the steam in and out of the various cylinders are what are called drop valves, so they work on a sort of trip system. The reason why it took us 23 years to rebuild of course is that we're not full-time workers here, so we're talking about a group of volunteers getting together all turn at Sundays and doing as much work as you can between um, 10 o'clock in the morning and when the pub opens in the evening. So it did take a long time. Also, because we didn't have a building that was strong enough to erect the engine in, we actually had to do a lot of the early work in the open, so using a, a mobile crane. So in the first 10 years, the engine was basically outside, so it got very rusty. So it took us the next 10 years to then uh, take all the rust off with wire brushes and emery cloth once the building had been put around it. We are still actually working on this engine. It's not completely finished yet. There's still work going on. We've just fitted a condenser, which has increased the efficiency of it greatly and means that uh, the poor guys on the boiler don't have to work quite so hard keeping the steam up. But this is one of the, the larger triple expansion engines that you can still see running in this country and hopefully got hundreds of years of working life still in it. 